How did you deal with the celebrity and the fame? And I didn't go anywhere. Really? You <laughs> no, didn't go anywhere? Anymore. I didn't go anywhere. Um, I, you know, if I, if I did go somewhere, I, I just tried to be as invisible as I could. Um, my husband and I went out to dinner once, and uh, my parents were in town, and his mother was in town. So we took them to a place, uh, Midtown, for dinner. We walked in, and uh, there were a bunch of young executives, like product managers, sitting at a table having a beer waiting for their table. And um, I walked in, and we were with our parents, and I, we knew the people who ran this restaurant. We had been there many times before, even before Saturday Night Live. And uh, so they knew us, and uh, they greeted us warmly, and these two guys at the table insisted on just ripping me to shreds. About you know, what? well, she's not so great. I mean, look at her. She's chunky. She's I didn't, in front of my parents, in front of my husband. And, and that's, but I was, we were all put into a position where there was so much hype about us and uh, so much hype about the show that people felt the need to challenge us, us. And so you'd be walking down the street and they would confront you. And it was, yeah, I, what? I'm just doing my job. I don't have any trouble with you. I'm not, I'm not here to say I'm better or worse than you are. I just am. And this is what I do for a living. But I'm not here to take anything from you or to, it was very difficult dealing with people's responses to us. Gilda, at one point, it had gotten so bad for Gilda because Gilda was so accessible that she would start wearing masks like Michael Jackson did. Wow. So you really, once you left the show, you had to decompress. You had to, you had to get rid of all of that stuff and, and maybe think about how the world sees you. So Kate and Allie seemed like the perfect thing. Right. Because there was nothing threatening about the characters on that show. Um, it was just funny and sweet. Um, and uh, so it was a good antidote to Saturday Night Live. I mean, it seems as though Saturday Night Live, with that kind of enormity to what you were doing, um, is culturally at, at least, it seemed as though you would have to go to movies, which would isolate you more. Mm. You know, it, it would, movie stars at that time, everybody said, you have to stay in movies. You have to go and have a career in movies. It's the only way to do it. But I thought, no, I don't want to. I don't want people to constantly challenge me. I want to be small on TV. I want to be in that little box. That's yeah. where I want to be.